coming on the air with historic news. For the first time ever in American history, a former president of the United States has been indicted. I never thought anything like this could happen in America. This is the boldest election interference ever attempted in this country's history. They're not prosecuting President Trump, they're persecuting him. And it's all because he's the leading Republican candidate for the presidential election for 2024. I think the Democrats know this has nothing to do with the law. They're sending a message, and the message is they will use any power that they have to interfere in the next presidential election. Trump is obviously innocent. This is obviously political persecution, and the Democrats are obviously the most corrupt political party in American history. Nobody should be violent over this. I'm really concerned they can stage a false flag, a provocateur something. They really primed the media that Republicans are going to be violent. That's the last thing we need. We're not Antifa. We're not the left. According to news reports all over the country today, the arrest of Donald Trump is imminent, maybe as early as this week, Thursday or Friday, so we hear. I mean, it's this crazy world that Donald Trump has dragged this country into, but he could be wearing an ankle bracelet while accepting the nomination at the Republican convention. And could be wearing an ankle bracelet and be elected in November. Yeah, but you could have a president who is potentially incarcerated when he's elected president. Congressman James Comer revealing that he has identified at least $10 million that the Biden family has taken in from foreign companies looking for inroads into America. We have people that want to come forward, but honestly, Maria, they fear for their lives. Their informant will be killed if unmasked based on the info he has brought forward about the Biden family. Folks, the FBI is a growing threat to the Republic. We all know it's time to fire this rogue government that's hijacked our country.